Hey everybody, it's Paul here at Gillette Castle, and I figured, well, if we're going to be showing you around the castle, we should probably tell you a little bit about Gillette first. So you take a look over here and you see the handsome rascal in this photo. This is William H. Gillette himself. Now, I'm sure a lot of you have probably heard of the Gillette Company. They do the safety razors, the shaving cream, all that fun stuff, and Will here has absolutely nothing to do with them. Uh, distant cousin of that guy, but that's a story for another day. Now, Will, he was local. He was born up in Hartford in 1853. His father, Francis, was a U.S. Senator for a couple of years, um, also big into business, real estate, law. Um, and Gillette's mother was actually from the Hooker family, which is the family that founded Connecticut. So he had some pretty good roots anyway. Now, Will wasn't into the family stuff, law, business, politics. It was boring to him. He was in the theater. He was an actor, director, playwright. You can consider William Gillette the George Clooney of the late 1800s, except he was better. He was one of the most significant stage actors in American theater at the turn of the century. Now, um, he's actually referred to very uh, deservedly so as the dean of the American theater. Now, he starts his career uh, 1873. He starts traveling, doing stock acting um, and apprenticeships in the theater. You fast forward to about 1880, he starts writing his own plays. Uh, Mid-1880s, he starts writing a couple of uh, Civil War dramas, uh, which really put him on the map and made him uh, not only popular in the U.S., but also Europe as well. Now, of course, that's all fine and good. It's fantastic. But here's the thing. People don't really associate him with any of that uh, nowadays. Um, the one thing he's best connected to is uh, Sherlock Holmes. So, of course, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle wrote the Sherlock Holmes novels. It's Doyle who created the character in the stories. Um, but Gillette here, he actually wrote the first authorized stage adaptation uh, of the stories. Um, he had permission from Doyle himself. And he's the one who actually uh, came up with and popularized a lot of characteristics of Sherlock Holmes. So things like the deerstalker cap, the Inverness cape, the curved pipe, magnifying glass, um, those uh, actually were popularized by William Gillette. Even the phrase, elementary, my dear Watson, came from William Gillette himself. That phrase was never in any of the novels. Gillette started uh, using a phrase, elementary, my dear fellow, and then over time that evolved into what is probably one of the most well-known phrases in popular culture today. Now, 1899, Gillette starts playing Sherlock Holmes. He spends 33 years doing 1,300 shows worldwide. He's the one that brought life to the character of Sherlock Holmes and really made it uh, an international uh, icon. Now, he was extremely successful well before that. Sherlock Holmes wasn't even his most popular play, but it's the only thing that really people associate him with nowadays. Uh, now, that's his professional career. Let's talk just for a moment about his personal life. Uh, he got married in 1882 to Helen Nichols. She was an actress from Detroit. Unfortunately, in 1888, she passed away uh, from a ruptured appendix. She was 28 years old at the time. Now, the legend is that when she was on her deathbed, Will promised her that he would never remarry. Um, now, whether or not that's true, not exactly sure, but we do know that he kept that promise. He outlived his wife by 49 years, single the entire time. He never had kids. Um, so she had been gone. Um, couple decades before the castle was even built. Now, uh, that's about William Gillette and his life. Um, stay tuned because next time we're going to be showing you around Sherlock's home. I'll be giving you uh, tours of the castle, so make sure you keep on following the Facebook page here uh, and keep it tuned so that we can uh, show you all around the castle, give you the grand tour.